Earlier in the year, I was down in Port Coburn, and I was filming this particular vessel, which is the CSL uh, Paul J. Martin, uh, which was coming into Port Coburn. Uh, but as I had the drone up and I just finished getting the shot I wanted, I had noticed uh, there was another vessel that I wanted to get. Uh, but I wasn't near it, like let's say on land. I was actually parked like a couple hundred meters away on the other side. So with the time left I had on the drone, uh, I started filming this other vessel, which was the Northern Venture. Sorry, I should say the McKeel uh, Northern Venture. And it was actually located right by the uh, Robin Hood flour mill. So let's look into this particular vessel and we're going to start by talking about that mill before we get to the ship. So what you're looking at is a Robin Hood flour mill, but the vessel right beside it is not loading flour. It's actually grain and here's why. So we'll start back at the beginning very quickly. Uh, the Robin Hood flour mill here in Port Coburn was originally known as the Hubbardstone Mill. which was built in World War II to support the war effort. It began its operations back in 1940 and the mill played a crucial role in producing flour for both domestic consumption and overseas aid. The mill produced large quantities of flour which was essential for feeding both the military and civilians during the war and the flour also produced at the mill was also sent overseas as part of a foreign aid program to help feed needy Europeans. After the war, the mill continued to operate and become a key point of the Robin Hood brand, known for its high quality flour. Then in 2008, the mill was shut down by its then owner, Horizon Milling. Then in 2010, Ceres took over the facility and repurposed its storage capacity as a grain export terminal. Minneapolis-based Ceres Global AG announced back in 2023 that it has sold the well-known terminal at Port Coburn uh, to London Agricultural Commodities for $4 million US. This is the McKeel Northern Venture, a self-discharging bulk carrier that was built in 1998 and was built in Bay City in the United States. The vessel was designed so it can be allowed to operate in shallow waters and docks, making it ideal for a variety of marine transportation projects. The overall length of the vessel is 154.98 meters which is 508 feet and 6 inches and she has a beam of 22 meters which is 72 feet and 2 inches and her gross tonnage is 12,542 tons. The McKeel Northern Venture has four cargo holds sloped at 50 degrees with a large gates to improve cargo flow. It features 40 hydraulic gates, two tunnel conveyors, two transfer conveyors and a 260 foot discharge boom. It has a single point loading system allowing all four holds to be loaded via shuttle conveyors from a single deck mounted hopper.
that is another video in the books. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me and also to the algorithm and yada, yada, yada. Uh, until the next video, please make sure you stay safe and I'll see you all very, very soon with another video from Lake Erie or the Welland Canal. Until then, stay safe.